Hey folks, welcome to today's video. Today I want to do another video on LT Wright Knives Cook Craft Collection. And the knife that I have today is this one right here. Look at that big hunk of steel, huh? That's the, this is the camp kitchen knife. If you notice, it's got Genesis likes handle. It's not showing up real well. My kitchen is dark. It's because I'm, I'm an electrician. But anyway, it's got, there we go. It's got the Genesis scales there. Okay. A very Genesis like handle. Not quite as thick as the Genesis, but very Genesis like. And I haven't used this knife yet, but one thing that I do notice about it is a spot to put my finger right here so I can get very close and detailed with this edge right now or right here. I can actually put a lot of pressure and get really choke up on this handle and, and get to use this back part of this blade. As soon as I opened it I was pretty intrigued about it. Well my wife is doing me a favor today so she asked if I would cut up some cauliflower for her. So let's give this new knife a try huh? Uh, cauliflower here. I thought I'd just talk a little bit about this series of knives from LT Wright. Um, these are the Cookcraft collection. Um, I've, I think I've said it in basically every video I've done now with this collection. This isn't something that I would take this probably packing with me. It's not something that I'm going to take on a bushcraft or survival type outing. This is going to be more um, car camping. And I tell you what, this really kind of came at a, a good time for me because when I came back from Mongolia, one of the things that I wanted to do was to kind of revamp my, my, my cook kitchen, my, my camping cook kitchen. I wanted to replace all my enamel pots and plates and things and go more with stainless steel. The stainless steel is just more durable um, and then plus I can take parts of my car camping uh, kitchen and use them for more bushcrafty type activities. So then I only have one large kitchen setup and then I can take and pick and choose which parts I want to take on those outings by myself or with my friends, um, something that my wife doesn't really want to do. She loves to go car camping with me, but she's not so much into the backpacking, things like that. So. This I can take, I can definitely just keep these at home and replace my other knives that I've had for years and these are going to be great kitchen knives for me. Plus then with the soft case, which I'll grab, take these knives individually or in groups with their own soft case and pack them in my Tupperware tote or my, my tote bag or tote box, whatever you want to call it, that has my camp kitchen in it and I can rotate things in and things out and especially if I know what my menu is going to be. Uh, one of the times I went, we went to Whitewater and I showed, I believe it was the powder, the large powder and we had salami and cheese. Well I knew what that menu was going to be. If I know uh, what I'm going to be cooking I can, like I said, cherry pick some of these knives out. Then I don't have to pull out my, my Genesis or my Gen 6 and First of all, dole it on a cutting board because cutting boards do dole your knives quite a bit. And if you have a specific knife for your kitchen, you can take care of the edge, um, maybe more than you might do with your bushcraft knife. But then I don't have to take the same knife that I just gutted a trout with and go back and start cutting potatoes or something. I mean, obviously you can wash it off and things like that, but just sometimes having, you have the right knife for the right task it just makes things go a lot easier and if you're car camping usually space isn't that big a deal and if I just have one tote that's the same size I know that that's got my kitchen in it and like I said I can take things in and out however I want so alright enough of me gabbing let's see how this sucker works on this cauliflower so nothing too earth shattering here but the first thing I want to do is cut this stem off
try to process this down, maybe get rid of some of these leaves on here. Then I just want to start cutting these little branches of this cauliflower off of here. I like to use a bigger knife when I'm cutting cauliflower, just it kind of lets me get right where I need to be. And sometimes it can be a little, you know, it can be a little uh, thick. The cauliflower can be a little hard to cut through. Nothing crazy, I mean, it's just cauliflower, but still. You have a knife with a little more meat on it. It kind of lends itself better with cauliflower. Like I said, I'm doing this as a favor for my wife. She, not that I don't help in the kitchen all the time or make a lot of the food, but she's doing me a favor today, so I told her I would do this for her. She is going to make, I think for work, she is going to be making a like a cheesy mac. I think. Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember ever having cauliflower and mac and cheese before, but she's got an idea of what she wants to do. But I'm supposed to make this really small. Wow. Slice is pretty good. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to make this pretty small for her. So it's going to be kind of tedious and time consuming. And when she says really small, I guess I don't know, that's pretty darn small. Sorry for the sniffles, guys. I got a cold that just won't go away. That's a pretty thin slice of cauliflower. It's working out pretty good for me. Let's see if it'll... Well, you've seen me use this uh, camp kitchen knife from LT Wright Knives. Um, I've been testing this knife for probably at least two or three months and just putting together little bits of footage, just random tasks that I've been doing. And now what I want to do is actually cook a meal. Um, I'm going to cook some steaks, I'm going to barbecue some steaks, and then I'm going to cook some squash as well, some acorn squash. Normally with us, with acorn, well, with squash in general, we, we tend to make it into a little bit of a dessert. We usually bake it in the oven and then uh, mix butter and brown sugar with it. Uh, it's pretty decadent, but that's the way generally we, we normally do it. Today, I'm going to go ahead and barbecue it on the barbecue. I'm going to mix a little olive oil, some seasonings, mix it together, barbecue it while I'm barbecuing the steak. And this knife here from LT Wright Knives is going to help me make that happen camp kitchen. But basically what I like to do is kind of stab it first. So I'll just gently, or not so gently, push this knife in. And then split that side. And go like that. Now I'm going to scoop the seeds out. Stab it. See how this size piece treats me. Yeah, about like this size is about what I'm after.
going to process some of this garlic down. This is different than how I've processed it in some of the other videos where I smash it. Um, I don't want this garlic smashed. I want whole cloves for now. So I'm just going to cut the ends off. I'll peel that in a minute. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut the ends off. So I can peel it. So I'm going to cut these into slivers basically. A little thicker than that. I don't want them paper thin. But like that. So this is uh, ribeye steak looks like. <clears throat> and what I like to do is cut little slots in the meat, little pockets, and throw this raw garlic in there. We'll see if I have enough left over to do both sides. But for now, I'm getting the, getting it in there pretty deep, so it'll be fine even if I only do one side. All right, folks, that was the camp kitchen knife in action there. Uh, next time, I'm going to be showing the last knife in LT Wright's Cookcraft collection. And there's a little something special with this last knife. It's a, give you a little hint, it's a system to keep it all together. So you can just grab it and go and take it with you on your next outing. So, alright folks, hope you liked the video. Take care.